honestly could not feel eyeballs. So there's a mama muffin. Magic day has arrived for our next group of lambs. Time to get them weaned from their mamas. Get the mamas moved out on pasture with rams and the other girls that have already been moved out. I will probably just put a link on here to one of the past videos so you can kind of see how that goes. Anything out of the ordinary, I might uh, video a little clip of just so you can see what we're doing. But we do this about once a month now and uh, we'll continue until pretty much all the market lambs are uh, flushed through. That's his pointed hat. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to put that on YouTube. It hadn't slowed him down on eating. Looks like. That black one and that red one going to fight. Some of them boys is chasing them girls. Yeah. Be much longer. We need to get them sexed and separated. We're making a good start with the with the ewe lambs. I keep calling them ewe lambs, the yearlings. I'm sure they would rather be seeing the sheep than you. Oh, you think so? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come around, jumped up on the gate, uh -huh. stuck his head out. Nice little woman here. <laughs> I don't know who's boy or girl. Stuck his head out and hollered, hello! <laughs> Mother! <laughs> Where are you? How many of you think are looking within the next week? Maybe six, eight? Ten. Ten. Twelve. Uh, Mary getting to be an old girl. She sure is. Yeah, I'm talking about you. She's been around for a while. Muffin. He just bit me in the backside. He said, yeah, because you didn't pick me enough. Okay. All right. You sweetheart, you're just not quite as sweet as Muffin. But when she talks, that's what, when you talk to her, that's what she does. She tilts that head. That's Muffin's sweet. Yeah, that's Muffin's best friend right there. You find them close together for a long time. All right, well, it uh, is getting close to dark. Uh, I just got off of a, uh, a Zoom call, which is a uh, another story for another day. But uh, Teresa's already been down and uh, made barn checks. There wasn't much going on then. I'm getting down late to get started feeding. Uh, mainly, I'm bringing you along just to kind of catch you up and also testing out the microphone again, see if I can get this to work a little bit better. Now, this girl right here, see with the little red dot, she delivered yesterday. Unfortunately, the baby was... Uh, stillborn it uh, had obviously been lodged for a while and uh, wasn't a good end on that but I just wanted to get in here real quick before I start getting buckets ready double check everything make sure we're all good no babies right now we have our, one of our big girls had a nice set of twins right over there. That's the big show girl that uh, she was shown last year and did well. And uh, 
she had a nice set of twins and that's been about it on the last day or so i do want to mention that we did get the girls sorted separated moved they're out here now with the other groups with the rams so all the babies you hear hollering in there are their wean babies uh, they're eating good and doing really really good so i'm not concerned about them uh they're doing well they weaned well they stayed on feed and uh, they're right on track uh, all right. what's up there's a pain of course Pam's turned over in the corner, of course. Can't reach it, can't get to it, can't do anything. Just got back from the uh, sheep and goat sale. The uh, market was strong. The sheep prices were off a little bit, but not as bad as they've been in the past this far after Easter. Goat market was still strong. Unfortunately, we had mostly sheep today. But <laughs> anyway, we had one ewe that delivered uh, before we left this morning, and my wife came down just as soon as we got home. And her granddaughter just came back and announced that we have another you delivering. So with these weather fronts that have been coming through, I'll have to say I'm really not surprised. Since the last time we talked, we've had this girl here deliver. Down will be another one story. That one right there delivered. This one right here has delivered. And this girl back here in the corner there delivered this afternoon. Now this girl she delivered the other night when we were fighting storms. We had some storms bearing down on us pretty hard. And I wish I had caught video, but it was hard enough to get ahead of the storms to try to get video and drag the camera around and everything else. But, see that little baby right there looking at us? Yeah. I was real certain when that baby was born that it was blind. I really was. I couldn't... Its eyes were closed and uh, just wasn't seeming to be able to find anybody, locate mama. And I tried to open its eyes gently, of course. Had no luck whatsoever. I started feeling and I really honestly could not feel eyeballs. So, okay, I was like, after the issue with the uh, bladder issue on the other girl, I'm like, okay, here we go with something else. Well, guess what? Here we are a couple of days later. Eyes are open. Uh, still, I think, has a little bit of vision issue. But, thank you, Lord. So, while I've been getting buckets ready, the girls have been processing lambs, writing down their information, tagging them, writing down birth dates, mama tag number, all that. So I'm just glad things have turned out well with the baby that I really thought was blind. Um, as of last night, 
He had his eyes open just a little bit, just a, like a squinty open. Um, then tonight, he's got his eyes open. Still think he's not seeing 100%, but much, much improved. Awesome. The piglets are now kind of like the pygmy goats. They, uh, <laughs> there's not a fence we have that will keep them anywhere. So they kind of roam wherever they want, unfortunately. They come out and pick up some of the dog food the dogs have left behind. They go over to the chicken pans and get some of the leftover corn and stuff there. But they're doing well. Well, <laughs> there's my buckets. That's just the ones to gather the bolt feed out of the bin. Yeah, before we were filling about four buckets and then mixing those to fix all the buckets for all the pens, right? Now we're feeling because of the number of lambs in the lambing pen, the number of mamas that have delivered, and the number of babies that we have on the inside pens, we now fill all of these with bulk feed and then blend from there. See those scrapes and scars? Yeah. There's not hardly a night that goes by that I don't get pushed into a panel, a piece of wire, something. Almost nightly. It might still be light enough I can take you with me. I got to go get the cows, pigs, get all that done, and then get ready to get to the house. the day has finally come it's the day that the uh, rams are going to be divorced and separated from the uh, ewes that they've been with now for a while and uh, so we're gonna have to set up a little catch pen get the boys caught up get them moved over by themselves and then get everything torn out Well, we got about half of them moved. That's about it. Still have about 
15 to go. We left the little catch pin, catch, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> set up so that this evening they usually always head toward the barn in the evening. So hopefully this evening when they start that natural flow back to the barn, we can go ahead and get the other 15 sorted out and separate it out. Whew. It's turned off summer today. Well, that girl right there is our latest, right? This evening. And then her. Sacked out in the corner. Uh, and then, those three are today. Yeah, those three are today. Those three are today. Been a busy day. Muffin and ears right there. I do believe Muffin in particular is getting real close. Changing the weather fronts can always kind of get things started. <laughs> hey, Muff. I just looked at her ears how swayed back she is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. Ears right there. She's got a pretty ah. curved back. Ah. Well, we uh, sat with Muffin last night till pretty late, and uh, it became very obvious. You know, a lot of times, first time mamas will be in labor for quite a while, and it it became pretty obvious that uh, her labor was very early, and that it was going to be a bit. So, about ten thirty, eleven o'clock, I guess it was, we decided to go on to the house. So, my wife got up first thing this morning and uh, came down to see where we were. So there's a mama muffin <coughs> and there's her little baby. Looks a lot like her. <laughs> you doing okay, Muff? Hmm? Like, yeah, I'm still adjusting to this. You had a nice little sized lamb there. You did? Yeah. Good job, Muffy. Remember, it was horribly cold that week. So, she came to the house with us. And she stayed in the house with us for a while. <laughs> till it warmed up enough for her to go out. Yep. Yes, baby. Yes, he's been a baby ever since. I remember that she she used to snuggle up with us on the couch and watch TV in the recliner. She sure did. She's got a nice little baby. <laughs> <laughs> 